borderline pitch there at the bottom of the strike zone. His catcher didn't do him any favors the way he received that pitch. Ground ball to second. Barney gets rid of it quickly. And rule safe is Pollock. And Samarja puts his hands up in the air in disbelief. And here comes Swain again. The second close play at first base for first base umpire Toby Basner. Yeah, clearly out at first, very close, but clearly out. The ball in Rizzo's glove before Pollock got the foot down on the base. Samarja can't believe it, saying the second time. Now to his credit, A.J. Pollock really busting it down that first baseline. Hits the very front edge of the bag at first, and now Joe West is getting involved. The crew chief going to shoo the Cubs skipper back to the dugout, maybe. Nope. Nope. I'll shoo him back to the clubhouse. This may be a case of a veteran crew chief of an umpiring crew kind of stepping in for the younger Toby Basner down there at first base in his defense. And Dale Swain just transferred the argument from one umpire to the other. And Joe West said, I've heard enough. Go on home. And he gets a standing ovation by the fans here at Wrigley Field. Take another look, but we've clearly seen that the ball was in Rizzo's glove. You can almost hear the pop before the foot hits the bag. And that's usually the determining factor. Obviously, you can't see both things. Nobody's eyes are that quick. Most umpires will look to the foot on the bag and listen for the ball hitting the glove. 